Hey everybody, welcome back to another FPL video. This is Milk and this. Welcome to Game Week 26 Preview Part 1 because it will be a two parter. Uh, other games will be happening the following week because most teams are on the winter break. So, yeah, let's do this. As you guys know, it was a terrible game week 25. Didn't Captain Salah chose to be sp special and it backfired. Wilson didn't come through. So that ensured just terrible score of 38. And I doubled my rank to almost 400k. Uh, hopefully I'll be back to that 100 and 1780 uh, K mark. Uh, other than that, obviously, the highlight was just Salah and Alexander Arnold. Liverpool guys are just incredible. They're playing FIFA, enjoying themselves. Can they continue? We'll find out. And obviously, the big thing that happened there was that I had the most points in the bench this whole season, hence terrible school and the downward arrow hopefully I can come back as you can see only four fixtures in a shortened uh, game weeks 26 obviously the part two will come next week do stay tuned for that um, other than that uh, Everton face on Palace two teams great form just kidding, only Everton, Everton only one loss, and that was against Liverpool in the league since Angelotti came. Uh, Palace, Palace have been struggling, and uh, Brighton and Watford, um, two teams that are struggling at the moment actually. Watford, when Nigel Pearson came through, they were doing well undefeated, but they lost their last game against 10 men Everton, so we'll see how they'll come up. Blades the Invincibles playing at home can they be invincible at home because they tend to struggle Bournemouth catching up some form can they punish the Blades home form uh, it's not that they necessarily weak at home you know they just weaker at home uh, they're still a strong side still sixth still eyeing Champions League football another game will be Man City and the Hammers West Ham are the ones that are really really struggling uh, can Moyes turn it around we'll have to wait and see Man City will be eager to bounce back these are my predictions 2-1 to uh, Everton Everton I think will are too strong at the moment uh, uh, Crystal Palace are hot and cold hence I'm confident with Everton 2-1 to them 1-1 one, one, uh, Brighton versus Watford just purely because both teams are not on form and are eager to get a result so they'll fight it out and you know they're competing in the relegation battle so it'll be a fight but a draw probably a goal scoring 1-1 1-0 one, one. Uh, one to Sheffield they good in defense you know Sheffield well, uh, Wilson and Bournemouth are struggling even though I have them they're struggling to score goals so I think they'll be able, you know, with Sander Burge and his passing and controlling of play, flag making those runs, I think they'll be a formidable team and I think expect more to come from them this season and the following season from Sheffield. 2-0, uh, I think West Ham will respond, um, but they'll still lose. 2-0 to Man City and obviously Manchester themselves have to respond after that defeat to Tottenham which we predicted um, these will be the milk of the matches for the game week 26 part 1 uh, Calvin Lewin you know he's been on form hopefully he can continue his form Forster another one Quiet player, can he continue? We'll find out, we'll find out. Um, he's been getting the save points and been doing well. Most people 
you know, when they had clean sheets, they, they put him in, so hopefully he'll get like a penalty save. Uh, Henderson, if they're going to get a clean sheet, you know, he might be one of those. And Aguero, another one, who will also be likely to get on the score sheet. You know, he likes playing against West Ham, 10 goals against them. Um, this is the lineup for game 26. Um, obviously, as you can see, um, I've went with Stevens rather than Stevens uh, of Southampton uh, because I already have a lot of Southampton players. So obviously, uh, it was quite kind of obvious for me that my Lundstrom replacement will not be someone from Crystal Palace or or Arsenal or or Southampton it would have to be Burnley and continue with the double Burnley you know they still have good defense even though they have a blank game we can turn eight I still believe in them and they'll continue to do the work uh, other than that uh, Alexandra completes the defense uh, alongside with McCarthy uh, Ozil still backing him in the midfield Salah Grealish and Noble uh, they complete the midfield uh, obviously I'm not confident about Noble um, another one Ozil has a blank game we might wild card you know when it's 28 or oh, we'll see what happens you know we'll wait for the quarterfinal semi-final matches to find out what's going to happen and yeah maybe we'll wild card then game week 31 32 depending on when the double game weeks are Vardy still backing him, he dropped in price, Wilson, I'm not really expecting anything this game week but hopefully he can be proved to be a good addition in future game weeks. I'm captaining Ings, I don't trust Salah, I never did, so yeah, that's it, on the bench, to complete the bench is Martin, Rico, Kent, Wa and Henley, the Norwich boys. Anyway guys, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me. What do you guys think of the team? How are your teams looking like? Who are you guys captaining? Probably Salah. Most people will be captaining Salah again, majority. And yeah, how are you guys lining up? Do comment your team and tell me or ask me anything, any suggestions you have for me and I'll be also be eager to help you guys as well. Thank you guys. Goodbye.